and uh, we are talking about what can we do to sort the problem of the hardship in this country. And we want you to like just enlighten us as a elderly man that you have. Uh, they, they, you know now from uh, my primary school, I've been hearing that uh, Nigeria go better. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Even up to my years now that I'm married, it's getting worse every day. What I see in this country is that we have leadership problem, and the leadership problem is from those that believe that through the perpetrators of eating our natural resources, they can emancipate. Let me use that word. I so, they, uh, speak, they speak your English most. Uh, they, 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 they they no, what I'm trying to say is that the gap between the poor and the rich, formerly the GDP, the GDP was saying 300%, but now it's about 850%. And uh, we are talking about what can we do to sort the problem of the hardship in this country. And we want you to like just enlighten us as a elderly man that you have. Uh, they, uh, you know now from uh, my primary school, I've been hearing that uh, Nigeria go better. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Even up to my years now that I'm married, it's getting worse every day. What I see in this country is that we have leadership problem, and the leadership problem is from those that believe that through the perpetrators of eating our natural resources, they can emancipate. Let me use that word. I bet so, they, uh, speak, they speak your English most. Uh, they, they, <laughs> they, they, they no, what I'm trying to say is that the gap between the poor and the rich, formerly the GDP, the GDP was saying 300%, but now it's about 850%. So which means that, that's why you're seeing the hike, hyperinflation, see hike, hike in the price. It has never been done in this country. I wonder what, you see, I wonder why if they wanted to fast tune or do any policy in this country, that will affect the poor. You understand? The scourge is coming on the poor. Why? Somebody will come and siphon Nigeria money at the end of the day, he will pass it to the poor. So what's the, why are they removing the subsidy? If that is the only way they can subsidy, poor people can, even if, or, she, you, you understand what is happening now, Gary? It's a magic, you want to go and eat Gary now. With 1,000 naira, you cannot eat constantly on yourself. It's, 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 it's absurd. I see Nigerian economy being cancelled. I pray for Tunumbo if you can resuscitate it. You know, even Awusa now, they are saying that we are criticizing, we criticize them alone and all these things. Now, we are there now. We cannot be able to do everything. Let the man come and open up. What is in Nigeria account now? Is there any money in this account? Eh, what, what is happening in that place? You understand? When Jonathan was there, it, was, it wasn't like this. In the era of uh, Gowan, it wasn't like this. Why is it now all these things is happening? The thing is that the corruption have eaten deeply into the fabric of every Nigeria. Everyone, everybody wants to get money. Even Yahoo, they do Yahoo Plus now. So everything is very nice money. Even the fear of God is not even the heart of everybody. Even church now, church, people doesn't trust some geos now. They don't trust some pastors because of what is happening in this country. So the problem now is that it's extremely cancerous. So let everybody go back to their knees and pray to God to heal this country. This country needs to be resuscitated. It's, it's need to be prayed for. There's something happening in this Nigeria. So why? Why is it like this? You understand? Ah, private university, you can't enter. Your child is paying almost two point something million. Why? Why? Why is all these things? So we also come and the only thing that is there is that let the president come and tell us what is inside that place. Come out, come tell us. So 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 thing. Eh, Nigerian debt is still escalating. But if I were him, eh. And I know that I cannot do anything. I will resign. These are the people spoiling my name. Say the Bible says good name is better than yeah. gold and silver. You know, he's a man of integrity. When he was the governor of Lagos State, he did a lot. But he's not the one that did it, his fashola. But now he was there. Now, in order for him not to have gained his integrity, let him resign if he cannot resuscitate this country. After all, the man is a great criticism. There's no government he doesn't criticize. This Tunumbu, now in his own regime, Nigeria has become the worst. GDP, 500%. Gap between the poor and the rich, Baba, is absurd. So now, the solution now is the solution to this hardship. Okay, now they make you an MD of a bank. Okay. And in that bank now, you cannot borrow people money. You cannot function as a bank manager, uh, a CEO of a company, uh, of a bank. In Central Bank, you are owing debt. And the people are saying, ah, Lemon Bank is, was born and during the time of Lemon, Lem, uh, today Lemon. Why is it that? What will you do? Would you leave the seat? So now you are advising Tunubuna to leave the presidency. You cannot, there's no performance now. Go perform now. Go fibele. 